Hi, I'm Josie, and I'm going to go through how to set up the new clickable.bio feature in social marketing. So I'm just going to start from the composer here, and you can see because I'm posting an Instagram post, it's giving me this new Instagram options down at the bottom. And it says here, add links to your Instagram posts using social marketing's newest feature. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Once I click set up, I'm brought to this new clickable.bio page um, that's under my posts in social marketing. So it says here, set up your clickable.bio page. And it's just giving a little bit of explanation that Instagram doesn't allow most accounts to put links on their posts, but this is a feature that's going to help you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click set up and I'm brought into a stepper here. So on the first step, it's just asking me to claim my clickable.bio URL. So it's auto filled this with my business name and it's just kind of saying here that this is the URL for my clickable.bio page. So fashionbyjane.clickable.bio. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna click next and I'm brought to customize your clickable.bio page and you can see we have a preview over here on the right of what the page looks like. It has my business name here that's auto-filled. I'm going to upload my logo image to go on there and you can see it change on the preview on the right. And then it's asking me if I want a button on my clickable.bio page that will take users directly to my website. So I'll say, yes, I want a button. The text for the button can be visit website. And then I'm just going to paste my website link in there. So I click next and I'm brought to the third step and it's just asking me to paste my custom URL into my Instagram bio. So I'm going to copy that link that I have here and then I'm going to click go to my Instagram page and it opens my Instagram page in a new tab. So I'm going to edit my profile and just add that website onto my Instagram page. So now I'm going to click finish on this stepper and I'm brought to kind of this dashboard for clickable.bio. So you can see I have the option to share my link out here. I can compose a new post to add links to my images. And then I still have a preview here of what that page looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and compose a new post. So I'm going to actually upload an image of a sweater uh, to my Instagram page only. And I'm going to say, see the link in my bio for this sweater. And then down here under the Instagram options, it's now asking me to link this product on my clickable.bio page. So I'm going to add the link for this sweater from my website. And I'm going to go ahead and post that now. So now if I go under my recent posts, you can see I have posted this and then once I go to that clickable.bio page, if you guys can see my new tab, you can see the image of the sweater shows up on here. And then once I click that image, it's going to open in a new tab here, the link that I had put for on my website. And that's the new clickable.bio feature. I'm going to go through now how clickable.bio works from Instagram. So I see a post here from Fashion by Jane and it says, see the link in my bio for this sweater. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Fashion by Jane profile and I see in the bio is fashionbyjane.clickable.bio. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now I'm brought to that web page and I can see all of Fashion by Jane's posts that have a link attached. So it says here, click on the images below. I'm going to click on that blue and gray sweater because that's the one I was interested in. And it's going to take me straight to the web page where I can find and purchase that sweater.